Good morning, Malcolm. Hi, John. Good to see you. So uh, today, uh, restrictions seem to be taking off and uh, being taken off by the government. Um, so we're going to be thinking about some quite vital decisions um, as lockdown restrictions are removed. Um, by way of introduction, just to say, of course, you know, we thank God for the vaccines. They've done a great job. Um, uh, it looks like the necessity for face masks and social distancing and hand gel and all that kind of stuff is being removed. And specifically, there are, as far as I know, no restrictions going to be on public worship and singing. That may change a bit, but I, that, that's how it reads at the moment um, in the newspapers. And Boris has basically said, uh, we've got to learn to live with the virus. It's still there, not as deadly. It's on the rise again. It really is. So take personal responsibility and be sensible. So that's the kind of background, isn't it? But that leaves church leaders um, with some rather tricky decisions. Yeah? Yeah, <laughs> it does. And, and the transmission of the virus, it seems, is predominantly uh, through indoor spaces with people in close proximity, these kind of water droplets from our breath, um, and, and also close together for a, a protracted period of time but you know what hits me with that is that's precisely what happens in churches that is almost a description of what a church is you know um people close together singing perhaps you know uh, quite a long period of time over an hour um so you know these are some we're in a tricky situation i think as churches and pastors have got to make some decisions so first of all what do you what's your thought how can how can we get the balance right there about being too cautious um or, or you know in the other extreme simply ignoring um all the risks you know how can we get that balance well one thing is the architecture isn't it i mean that's a pretty obvious fact it's some tiny little pokey chapel you know with 40 people squashed in close together that's going to be a challenge if you've got a big building with seven in it, you know, it's different. Yeah, yeah. It's very varied across the country, but I think people have just got to be, be shown that it's not normal yet. We're not back to normal yet. That hasn't happened. We're feeling our way still and whatever. The government's as confused as anybody, really, in many mm. respects. Um, ventilation is obviously important, and that's great in the summer. You can have all the windows and doors open to your heart's content if it's a sunny day. But what, wait till November, it's not quite so, um, we're not quite so perky, are we? No, indeed. Size no. of congregation, all those things. Yeah. In fact, I'm involved in the little church plant in a very small chapel, and there's hardly any ventilation. So we're yeah, really thinking, you, you know, what, what can mm. we do here? The other yeah. thing to perhaps bear in mind as those decisions are made is, um, in, or in the long term, is the best es estimates are saying that the vaccine, double vaccination, lasts round about 10 months to a year so again you have to make sure that you know keep an eye on people that, that that's all all there i'm not sure people have any idea about that they think they're safe now forever and a day don't they yeah, well, i mean obviously the government's talked about you know a boost in the autumn and you know they 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 obviously realize that this, these vaccines aren't sort of for life um so it, it, it's and also be... there are going to be lots of different opinions as well and i think this has been part of the problem already hasn't it in a congregation or in a group of 40 people you're going to get every every view under the sun aren't you so i think the pastor has to take a strong but gentle lead and encourage the unity the unity of the spirit is really important in this mm. Mm. i think that's the main challenge we're facing i think the whole challenge of disunity and division and also kind of distrust as well those are real challenges and those are really spiritual issues aren't they and psychological well, I'm so i mean i think you know the these kinds of um, things have kind of exposed how loving churches really are mm. you know, on, and how much forbearance there might be you know yeah. as you say trust is absolutely key and uh, that's not always been been great yeah. so it's the, go on I've got to just mention also the, the challenge the pastors or leaders have got to allow for personal freedom while trying to encourage fellowship and and i think those are the core issues in a way we don't want to be heavy-handed you know you, you can't just have people at the front laying down the law but at the same time people have got to be encouraged that they have got to make sacrifices in the christian life too and submit to one another and 
that's part of our theology really as well it's yeah just i mean i mean and perhaps to kind for leaders to kind of talk through with the congregation yeah the different right. you know the different pressures the different you know mm -hmm. the, the different problems that there are in trying to make a good, at least that would give the congregation a sort of an understanding it would help you know help help them I, I think the other thing i wanted to ask is you know it would be good for people to come back together you know with a positive vibe <laughs> yeah. Yeah. you know not just turning up but you know something really quite positive that might kind of set a better tone for the churches kind of hanging in with each other so how can how, how can leaders perhaps set that up yes well i mean different churches have done communion in different ways but you could have a, a sort of welcome back service in a sense i, don't, I mean churches have already gone back in most of them but yep. let's have something something special something special that people can really look forward to and maybe bits of testimony and things like that okay bring the changes a bit um open mic there's a church we know in london where even on most sundays they have the open mic which is where yeah. somebody gets up and just talks about their experience for five minutes you know yeah it's all kind of doing it in a bit more of a creative way so people want to come you know yeah yeah that's good i mean i was just thinking that maybe we should be um you know setting a positive tone um uh, in by way of kind of thanksgiving service to god you know thank mm, the lord yeah, we, you know, yeah. preserved us you know um and thank the Lord for the blessings of the vaccines and also, you know, just thinking about the needs of other countries. We've become kind of very moany <laughs> about mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. But hey, we're not living in Africa or, you know, somewhere yeah. in India yeah. or somewhere where things are so difficult. And especially for Christians. I mean, I think Christians, you know, the, the news is that Christians in India are being kind of denied medical help because of their faith and you know lot end of the queue you know for things but thank the lord yes. that that's not us yes. you know so there are some positive things like that yeah, yeah i think the other thing is leaders have got to feel they've got to appear confident not you know not anxious and stressed but setting a, a lead of sort of calmness and a sense of trying to re reintroduce a real sense of god in the situation that mm. he is still building his church despite all the disruptions I mean, if you read the Old Testament, I've been reading through all the, the massive kind of setbacks that yes. the people of God had, but God was always there working through setbacks. And yes. things, you know. Yeah. So there we are. That's good. Okay. Um, you know, so perhaps one of the words is we, so the leadership need charity and clarity. Yeah. Oh, well, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> as they try to hold the congregations together and encourage okay well let's we'll stop there this morning malcolm god good to see yeah. you yeah. bye, -bye. bye